So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and remove the sprouts that are growing upward. And I'll take some pictures of some other cut. For example, here's an area right here. As you can see, there's a head forming here. Here we have a little simplastic stick there. And, but we have some little buds coming out. We have some buds with some little stems right here, if you, as you can see. And we're going to leave them, but we're going to remove the sprouts that are growing straight up. Like that. And there you go. And we'll come over here to this one. And we'll carefully remove that one. And then, then we'll remove this one. And we will continue to do this around the tree. And this is your head right here. This is the head. And that's a good thing. And as you can see, here's a little stem that did not make it. So the same tokens, if it's a branch, we don't mess with the branch collar, but we don't leave a stub. So this simplastic branch here, I'll take back. <clears throat> this dry wood is very difficult to, to prune with arthritis. So remove this. And then this is your head. Now we'll file a suit around the entire tree. And if you keep pruning like this, this tree will stay this size forever and it will be a healthy tree. Now we have another apple tree with a little different framework. Same issue. The sprouts growing straight up. We're going to remove them. Back to the targets. And we'll, we'll show you some other pruning cuts we'll make. But we do this every year. Do it in to this January, we save this for January. And we'll have a follow-up video in the spring of some of the new growth that's taking place from our pruning cuts and things. Okay. Uh, one more thing worth mentioning, we also treat the system. Um, as you can see, we keep a nice mulched area around the tree, keeping the mulch back at least six inches from the base of the tree trunk. Again, we didn't plant these trees, and I do believe they were planted too deep. Um, but we still continue to treat them to give them the highest quality life that we can. So here, we're keeping the mulch back from the trunks of the trees, and we're just applying composted materials in small amounts. Actually, this year, we applied some miracle mulch. We have composted some tree trimmings that were chipped for uh, a year and uh, we applied them. Uh, we mixed uh, organic mushroom soil and composted leaves in with the composted wood chips. But never, 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 never use fresh wood chips around your trees because the protoplasm that's, that's smeared all over the place from chipping will attract the undesirables that can and do do nasty things above ground as well as below ground the trees. And we fertilize micro elements and what have you. So this is how we prune the apple trees every year. Okay, so what we're gonna do is Come in and come up to here and, and start removing the sprouts back to the swollen area. Careful not to uh, wound the swollen area and without leaving a stub. Of course, any simplastic uh, branches or sprouts, we'll remove them as well. So I'm going to come in here, actually come back to here. Uh -huh. We're just 
just maintaining the same framework that we did last year. Just removing new sprouts that formed in new spatial positions. 